This is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Chris Langlois, and here's your Eyewitness News webcast on this Halloween. First, to check your forecast. Meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro has those details. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. And it's going to be a nice mild day after a chilly start with temperatures that are making it back to the 60s for the first time in quite a while. The lower and the mid 60s. This is going to keep us a good five to even pretty close to 10 degrees above average. And that's the first time we've been above average for quite a while as well. Now, we will be watching for some showers, but not really until later in the day. Starting off with cloud cover, there still will be some sunshine to go around today as we start off the afternoon. The later we go into this afternoon and this evening, that's when we'll be looking for the first showers to start to make their way in. So something you want to be aware of for trick-or-treating, though notice that they come through pretty spotty, and most of those are going to be very light as well. So those rain showers will be around in a couple of spots. Not everybody is going to see one, but just have the umbrella ready for the kids out trick-or-treating. It's not going to cause really any issues. And again, we'll make it back to the 60s today, so that's going to be very nice as the kids are out and about. They can just wear the costume, won't need anything else. By tonight, we're down to 54, 62 tomorrow with a little rain, and then more Thursday night, Chris. Thanks, Stefano. Two officials in the Crestwood School District have been placed on paid administrative leave. That move comes as the district deals with bus transportation safety issues. The two officials put on leave are Superintendent Joseph Gorham and Chief of District Operations Christopher Gagaris. Last week, an Auditor General report found bus drivers with Reinheimer bus lines did not have the proper background checks completed. School was shut down for two full days. And the Crestwood School District says school bus operations returned to normal on Monday after they had received all the proper certifications. A man in the Poconos is in custody after a wild theft case. The police arrested Bobby Green of East Stroudsburg Tuesday. Police say he stole another man's dirt bike in Pocono Township and then crashed it. Troopers say he also may have fired a gun. The Good Samaritan unknowingly helped the suspect and dropped him off at the Anilomink Post Office. The state police later located Green hiding behind a tree. He is expected to be arraigned today in Monroe County on several charges. Those are today's top headlines. Have a great Halloween.